All right. Um, thank you very much. Um, so for those who don't know me, my name is Dr. Clement Chumesi. I am currently a medical statistician at the Norfolk Department of uh, Medicine at the University of Oxford. Um, if you've watched my previous uh, video, that is um, the introductory video that I did concerning um, the, the lecture series that we are going to have cons um, on power analysis and sample side determination. Um, so if you've not watched that video, I, it will be, it, I would entreat you to watch that to get um, the full scope of what we intend to achieve. So the whole essence was to be able to um, use a state of the art um, statistical software to help us determine the power associated with the kind of test we wish to do in order to be able to perform an experiment or to embark on a particular clinical trials or any study of interest. So as if you if you watch that video, I treated as that until you perform or you determine the appropriate sample size that is sufficient enough to be able to uh, determine an effect in your study if that effect really exists is very imperative otherwise it can nullify in terms of the findings of your, your your study without going through such processes to identify the minimal sample size to achieve some desirable power in your study and we touched on the fact that there are multiple or several softwares that can be used to perform um, um, power analysis. And we said what we are going to use, of course, data can be used for that, but what we are going to use for this series of lectures that are going to take place is we are going to use the software, an open um, source software called GPower. So without wasting time, this particular video is just to help us to be able to um, download the g power software for free and um, so i'll take us quickly through the um, the process of downloading so this particular video is not going to focus on actually using the g power um, software itself but strictly on downloading the software so um, without wasting time i will share my screen okay all right so with a GPower software, so there's this particular website um, called the gpoweraponic.com. So once you click on it, and this particular, um, um, I'll put, I'll certainly put the link in the um, YouTube video description, and um, so you can always click on the YouTube uh, video description to to get the link. So here, depending on whether you're a Windows um, user or Mac user, um, if you're a Mac user. You select Mac and download. If a Windows user, you select Windows and download. Now, um, so that's how easy the download process is. So you just click download for free. Now, after downloading, let's see how it will look like. The software looks like in in the first place. So this is my. So basically, when you download the software, it looks like this. So after after downloading, you don't necessarily need to install the software. It's just it just gives you this particular output. So it means that I actually copied. You can actually copy and paste anywhere. So this was at my downloads. I just copied and pasted at my document. It could you could copy and paste on your onto a particular folder of interest, whichever you want, and so on. So all you now need to do is to click on the software. So and when you click on the software, this is how. So let me just close these ones. So when when you, when you, when you click on the software, this is what you see. Yeah. So that's that's all you need to know in order to um, work with G Power. And now we are going to in the next series of videos, um, that is the first lecture video. We are going to now learn how to perform power analysis, giving a particular study design, and as well as giving other parameter parameters that we need to um, predefine and fix, and also about the effect size, how to go about determining the effect size and so on and so forth. So this particular video is just to focus on the installation of the software. Um, I hope to see you next in my next video. Um, so please. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. By your subscription, we are able to help the videos to reach out many people. The whole um, essence of this lecture series is going to be really, really useful for almost everyone who is into research and wants to make sure that 
they determine the right sample size in order to be able to detect a difference or to detect an effect in their study if it truly exists. 